Now we are discussing the topic which is router booting process. We know that router task is to find the shortest path or the second best path. But whenever the router start, then a process is followed. That is called the router booting process. And there are a number of steps which are there in the booting of the router. So if we talk about the router booting process, then router go through the different different steps during the boot process. So now we are discussing the different different steps which are used for booting means the starting of the router. So first of all, we are having the step number one where the router is powered on. So first of all, we are going to switch on the router. Then afterwards, the second step we are having is, is we are having a step which is post. Post means power on self test. So this power on self test is performed to check the hardware components including the memory and the interfaces. So if we see the diagram, in the diagram we can see that very first step is the post. The post meaning is power on self test. Whenever the router is started, the power is on, the first task we do is post and with the help of this post, power on self test, it is going to check the hardware components as well as the memory and the interfaces means it is going to check the overall performance that everything is okay shall we go to the further level so that is done by the post checking the hardware components memory and the interfaces after that we are having the next step which is the step number three there the bootstrap program is loaded and executed bootstrap program just like our windows we are having a booting software with the help of that the windows boot which we call that these are the booting files now whenever you start with the windows in your system you know that there are some windows files which are stored and which are called the booting files and window loads after work you work on the window similarly in the router we are having the bootstrap program bootstrap program is a utility program which is having a booting sequence whenever we are going to load the ios then this bootstrap work so here we are having the next step afterward which is the step number four where the bootstrap read the configuration register value to determine how the router will boot up so here if we go on the diagram in the diagram we can see that after performing the post which is power on self test then afterward it is going to the configuration register so now we are going on the configuration register and in the configuration register the bootstrap find out the configuration files to load the ios now afterward it is going to find the files where the ios will be loaded so here we are having the next step which is the step number five that depending upon the value of configuration register bootstrap program find and loads the ios so here in the diagram we can see that the configuration register is checked by the bootstrap now bootstrap find the configuration files so that os can be loaded now here it is going to find the os now there are two cases it is going to find the os and os is not present so let us suppose that if the os is present yes in that case it will go on the loading of os so here the ios will be loaded so this step will be performed but let us suppose that the configuration files are not present that means we are not able to find the ios files and bootstrap is not able to load that then it is going to the no part here so this is going to the no case and this no we are having the next step which is step number six if bootstrap fail to load ios from all possible location then it will drop the boot sequence in ramon mode for the troubleshooting so in the sixth step if the configuration files of ios are not present then what will happen then obviously it will go into the roman mode well talking about the roman mode it is the portable ios program which is used to perform the various diagnostic tests so here with the help of diagram we will understand 
what is going to work in the rom one mode so here we know that if the ios is not loaded means it is going on the no part then it will go on the next part which is the rom one mode in this mode first of all the flash memory is checked now in this flash memory if you are going to file the configuration files for the ios if it is yes it will be going and it will going to load the ios but let us suppose that configuration files are not present then again it will go to the tftp server tftp is the trivial file transfer protocol server where we transfer the files of that particular ios then if it is available then yes it is loaded if still the files are not available then it will go on the rom which is read only memory to find out the files and if files are available there then yes the os will be loaded so it is going to check all the ways until the os is loaded so these are the all things which are performed there now if the os is loaded then afterward we are going on the next step that if ios is loaded the ios will try to find and load the configuration so here in the diagram we can see that once the ios is loaded afterward the next step we are having is the nv ram it is the non volatile ram in the non volatile ram we are going to find out the configuration file so in the nv ram we can see that here it is going to find the configuration file and afterward there are two further cases the configuration file is present or not so here we are having the next case which is case number 8 or the step 8 if configuration is not present system configuration dialog will be launched so here in the nvram we have checked the configuration file and if the configuration file is not present then obviously it will go on the setup mode this is the setup mode where the configuration dialog will be launched and it will execute the setup because the configuration files are not present but if the configuration files are present then we are having the last step or the step number 9 if configuration is loaded then it will be given with the cli interface cli stands for command line interface so if in the nv ram we find the configuration file which is yes then it is going to load the startup configuration and afterward the cli interface will be provided so that the human can work upon the router with that command line interface so these are the all steps for route and booting process first of all we have started with the post which is power on self test and here in the power on self test the router is checked for all the hardware and the software things then afterward uh, the configuration register is checked that ios is present or not if it is present then it is loaded otherwise it is going on the roman mode and checking the flash tftp server rom then afterward if the ios is loaded then again nv ram is checked for the configuration file if it is present then router started if it is not present then the setup mode is started so that is all about the router booting process